Yo, 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 yes, YouTube, what are you saying? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You see the title, Absolute Madness, in it, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it one bit, bruv. Because whenever they said that they want to assassinate, well, someone gets assassinated, did they ever miss? And if they did miss, there's a, there's a high possibility that they're, not, they're gonna shoot again, like a second time or whatever, to make sure they got their target. I'm saying so we gonna get to this madness anyway it's the 13th of July in Butler Pennsylvania former US President Donald Trump speaks at a rally it's only days until he plans to accept the official Republican nomination he's just minutes into his speech when shots are fired take a look at what happened the reason why I say it's fixed and it, it, it doesn't seem right let me go back if you look at the people, right, they don't go down until President Trump goes down. Now, if y'all been in the hood, right, <laughs> and some shit goes down, and also if I hear some gunshots, I'm not just gonna be standing there looking like, what's going on? Like, what was that sound? And the thing is, if you felt that, you should have dropped straight away. The man paused for a second, then held his ear, then he went to the floor, and the thing is, right, his bodyguards and that, where the hell were they? What, what, look? It's only days until he plans to accept the official Republican nomination. He's just minutes into his speech well. when shots are fired. Take a look at what happened. So three shots, three shots went, and see, by the second, third shot, that's when Donald Trump starts to, to go down. But see, where, 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 where is uh, bodyguards? I don't see them. Now they're coming. Trump got hit, but survived. Someone tried to assassinate him in broad daylight. Here is how it unfolded. By the time this video is published, new details might have emerged. It's a hot, sweltering early evening as tens of thousands gather here to see Trump. Pennsylvania is one of six vital swing states that will help secure the win in the next presidential election. Butler skews Next presidential election. So what I'm trying to say is that I think that the president's already selected. They already know who's next. You might, you might say I'm wrong. You might agree. But that's what I think. I think that the presidents, they, 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 they know who's next in line. And isn't it funny, like, shortly after Trump gets shot, Biden steps down. It's all one big game. Heavily Republican, and it is a blue collar town. This is a big crowd. This is a big, big, beautiful crowd. He is surrounded by supporters. Most are sitting or standing in front of the stage. Some sit on the bleachers, center, left, and right. Trump support staff and security, including Secret Service agents, are right at the stage. Behind him are three large buildings. But the thing is, how, how are they supposed to protect him standing on the edge like that? And it gets worse. Look, I'll let the man carry on. On the roof of the building on the far left and on the far right are Secret Service snipers. They are constantly scanning the surroundings, looking for threats. They're constantly surrounding the areas, but they didn't spot a little nerd on the roof with, 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 with a, a rifle. This man just said that they're searching the areas for threats, but they didn't see this nerd on the roof with a rifle. Why? How did they miss him? And the way this guy's gonna show you is that Trump snipers were, right, were ahead of him. They were right in front of him. So how did they not, man? That's what I'm saying, certainly, right? They can be seen in this video filmed by a crowd member. How could they not see this dude? Hello, look, Butler, look, 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 hello look to Pennsylvania. I'm thrilled to be back. Trump begins with his speech. Things seem normal. He turns to the right and points at a chart showing statistics on border crossings. At the same time, several people in the crowd notice a man with a gun on the roof of a building close by. 
So if the people in the crowd can notice the guy on the roof with the gun, how comes the snipers didn't spot the guy on the roof with the gun? This is another reason why I say that the shit is planned and it's certain ain't right. It's not adding up. He's got a gun! See, he's got a gun, but they don't do nothing to him. It's too late. Take a look what happened. All of a sudden, bullets start flying. One even gets captured on camera. Another building, about 400 feet or 120 meters north. And the thing is, right, with these rifle, r rifle guns and the rifle bullets, it's not no small bullet, you know. They must be about this big. So how the hell did that just graze his head and not kill him, I don't know. The stage. The shots He's are coming from here, shooters, on the roof. <laughs> is that why he stepped down? The gunman is 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. Look at this nerd. He told me that this nerd. He's been playing too much Call of Duty. And he looks like Biden. It looks like Biden's nun nephew or something. Th this ain't right. <laughs> Biden, you you uh, you paid this guy in it. This little nerd to throw his life away. He is armed with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. AR-15. The gun was what? legally purchased by his father. First, he apparently fires around three shots. Take a look at what happened. See, he Trump reaches three. up with his hand. The first bullet pierces the upper part of his right ear. He will later say that turning over to the right at that exact moment prevented the bullet from hitting him right in the head. He ducks down behind the podium, and within three to four seconds after the first shot, Secret Service agents swarm. Look at the man in the back. Look at the people there in the background, just fucking, just standing there. Look, you heard three shots, and you still stood there. Huh? All of them should be off the stage right now. What are they doing? That's what I'm saying. All of them. They heard three shots and they still stood there. That does not make, make any logical sense in my head. Why the hell do you hear gunshots and you still stood there lo looking at Trump? Get the fuck out of there. That's what I'm saying. She the is former not president and shield him with their bodies. Crooks opens fire again immediately with five more shots. So he did a total of, okay, so he did, did he do three, three at first? And then he, he, he done another, another, another what, five? So you're telling me that these snipers on the roof still haven't got him yet? And they're on the roof too. They can blatantly see this guy. If people on the ground can see this little nerd, how comes the snipers couldn't see him? That's what I'm saying. Something, ain't, something, something just ain't right. Right before the first shot by Crooks, right. one of the snipers on the left roof behind Trump seems to detect the gunman and see? prepares to return fire. When it's too late. Take a look at what happened. When the man shot off nearly 10 bullets, they're only just shooting at him now. That's what I'm saying. Something, something was, so, this is planned and it ain't right. Some outlets report that these snipers killed crooks. While the Trying Secret Service the confirmed public. his personnel neutralized the shooter. We could not corroborate that it was in fact these specific agents. Bedjin, Bedjin, look, they were right in front of him. They were probably closer to the shooter than, than Trump actually was. And the thing is, they're, 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 they're looking right at him. This is plan bedging, 100%. There's no, somebody try and come in my uh, DM or something, or comment section and and try and um, deny this, that this ain't planned. How the, look, the shooters on the left and Donald Trump shooters them is, is on the right. And you're telling me that the shooters that are behind Trump can't see this nerd on the roof. Absolute bullshit. The gunman also hit spectators on the bleachers. One man died, 50-year-old Corey Comprador. So after Two them, others were critically injured. We so after three shots to start with and then another five, only one man died. So where did the rest of the bullets go? And look at the people them that are standing behind Trump. So the one that grazed Trump's ear, how comes it didn't hit anybody? Well, okay, probably hit the guy that was behind him. But all of them shots and only one person died. So, Trump's so microphone still man. on. We can hear the tense exchanges among the agents. About 42 seconds after Crooks opened fire, they confirm the shooter is down. Buddy, from the first shot, I would, I would have been halfway down the road. I would have been in a different state. Just from the first shot alone. You think, say, I'm, I'm going to stand there and, and listen to another six? Get out of here. Shooter's down. Are we good to move? Look. Shooter's down. Okay. 
they prepare to escort him to an armored vehicle. Let me get my shoes. Let me get my shoes. Sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes. Sir. Hold that in your head. Bloody. And then I go so we gotta shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my shoes. Oh, he's supposed to go to the shoes. Watch out. In about 75 seconds wait, wait. after ducking to the ground, Trump raises his fist. Get out of here, He's mouthing man. the words, fight, fight, fight. The resulting photos immediately travel around the entire world. The crowd starts to chant for the former president as he leaves the stage, reading. Trump is then rushed to a hospital. Later that night, he is flown to New Jersey. He appears to be well. Getting grazed in the ear, yeah? There are a lot of questions we don't have an answer to right now. Why were the forces unable to prevent the attack? Analysis on X suggests that at least the snipers on the roof behind Trump did did, did they not have their glasses on? <laughs> did they not did they even need to go to spec savers or they didn't have their spec savers on? I don't know which one, but we're likely scouting for dangers further away with this rooftop get, get possibly falling into the responsibility rubbish, of other law enforcement agents. We were unable to corroborate that. How can you be watching like further away when you're not looking at what's, what's right in front of you? This ain't making sense, bro. Why couldn't armed men climb up on this building? What was Crooks's motive? The gunman had no criminal history in Pennsylvania's public court records. The New York Times- You mean he didn't get caught for nothing? There's, that, that's, that's two different things. Actually getting caught for crimes and actually doing crimes and not getting caught. He's still a criminal. He just didn't get caught yet. On a voter registration record for Crooks, it shows that he was registered as a Republican. They also found that he donated $15 to Biden. a liberal voter turnout group through a Democratic donation platform in 2021. He was a kitchen worker and had a membership at a local shooting club. The See, FBI found suspicious device. A ner nerd ass loser. Looks like some school shooter. He left school. He didn't get to shoot up the school, so he thought, "Yo, this is the perfect time to shoot up, shoot up Trump in it." Because he, what was Trump? Re Republican? Re Republican? Or fuck knows, man. He just hates Trump in it. He just wants to shoot him, peel some his cat back. In both his car and home, they are being evaluated by the agency at the time of this recording. The investigation is ongoing, and new information is being published by the minute. President Biden and various leaders around the world condemned the attack and political violence at large. Of course he would The picture of Trump, bloodied but defiant, with a raised fist in front of the American flag, will surely become a powerful symbol in his re-election campaign. See? Gonna get them numbers up. That's exactly what that all that is about. Get his numbers up for the next for the next election. I guarantee you Trump's gonna win because of this. Everyone's gonna think, oh, how can we not vote for him now? Like the man the man survived getting shot. It's all one big game, one big joke, but you like, yeah, hit the like button, comment your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in the next one.